In this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to update your iPhone to the latest iOS, which right now is iOS 26. And before we get started, there's a couple of things that we wanna make sure are set up first. The first thing is we wanna make sure that the Wi-Fi is turned on. To check this, pull down on the top right hand corner of your screen, and then inside of the control center here, inside of the top left square, make sure that the Wi-Fi icon is blue and that you're connected to a network. While some of these updates can work over your cellular data, Wi-Fi is gonna be more reliable and it avoids using unnecessary data. Next, just make sure that your iPhone has at least 50% battery. If it doesn't, just plug it into a charger now and then keep it connected during the update. You should also make sure that your iPhone's backed up before installing any major software update. To do this, first head into the settings app. Once you're inside of here, tap your name at the top of the menu. Next, inside of the second section, you'll see iCloud. Choose this. Next, scroll down a little bit, and then here in the middle of the screen, you'll see iCloud Backup. And inside of here, you'll see if your iCloud Backup is turned on, when the last time you had a successful backup, and what devices are set up right now to backup to your iCloud account. Just make sure that underneath of Backup Now, it shows something recent, and if not, just go ahead and choose Backup Now. And once you're done with this, you can head back to the main settings menu. Another thing that you may run into is you might need to free up some space on your device. So if you do run into an issue with not enough room, you may need to delete some apps or other things that are taking up a lot of space on your phone so that you can finish the update. All right, so now that we have our phone on Wi-Fi, it's plugged into a charger, and we know we've had a successful update recently, just head back into the settings app and then scroll down a little bit and here in the center, find and choose general. Inside of the general menu, here near the top, you'll see software update, choose this. It'll then check for any updates that are available and once it's finished looking, you should see the latest iOS 26 update here. Once you're ready, tap update now and then on the next screen, enter your passcode. You can then scroll through the terms and conditions here and when you're ready, tap agree on the bottom right hand of the screen and then agree again on the pop-up menu that appears. After that, you'll see that the update's been requested and then we'll begin preparing to download. And the time that it takes here is gonna vary depending on your device, your connection, and how busy Apple's servers are at that moment. You can still use your iPhone while it's doing this part. I don't recommend it, but for sure, don't turn it off or let it run out of battery. And while we wait for this to download, we can see here that iOS 26 has a new look across the board, whether it's the lock screen or the home screen, the app icons themselves, the new liquid glass design is supposed to make everything more seamless looking and from one ecosystem. They've also integrated Apple intelligence into more apps, making the feature even easier to use, and they've done updates across the board to all of the Apple apps. And just a quick note, I did edit the downloading part here, but in the end, it ended up taking about 20 minutes for the download to complete. But once the preparation and the update finishes downloading, you'll then see install now. So we'll go ahead and choose that. Your iPhone will then verify the update and then restart. And during this part, you're gonna see a black screen with the Apple logo and then loading bars. Just keep your iPhone connected to the power and wait for everything to complete. And just another quick note, the installation process took about another 20 minutes so all in all, the entire update took about 40 or 45 minutes altogether. So just keep that in mind when you're going through the update to make sure you have enough time to finish. But once the installation finishes, you'll then be at the hello screen where you can swipe up, enter your passcode for face ID, and you'll then see that the software update's been completed and your iPhone's been updated to the latest iOS 26 version. Once you get here, tap continue at the bottom and you'll then be taken through the new iOS 26 quick setup steps. You can set up the new summarized notifications beta if you wanna do that, or you can choose not now. You can turn on priority notifications. If you have a newer iPhone model with the camera control button, you can go ahead and turn that on if you want to. You can set up Siri right now or later, and you can then get a quick overview of all of the new options and features that are inside of iOS 26. I'll cover more of these newer features in later tutorials on the channel, but for now, we just wanted to get updated to iOS 26. Again, once you get through all of the quick setups, tap get started at the bottom. After that, you'll then be taken back to your home screen 
And you'll see now that the icons and the animations have the new liquid glass look, which is a nice visual change to the iOS that we haven't really had in a while. Now it's pretty obvious that we did get updated to iOS 26, but we can also check and confirm that we got the latest version that's available. So I'll head back into settings, scroll down a little bit, choose general, and then inside of here, tap software update again, and we can confirm here that our iOS is updated to the latest version. Now, if the update doesn't appear in the beginning, or if you get an error at any point, there's a couple things that we can try that can troubleshoot it. First is just trying to restart your iPhone. There may have been a glitch before, or maybe it was in the middle of something in the past, and it never got a chance to finish, and restarting it may help. If that doesn't help, you can also sign out of your iCloud account, sign back in and restart your phone, and then check for the update then. I've seen that this has actually fixed issues for previous versions with other users. And finally, keep in mind that not every iPhone model actually supports iOS 26. If you're still having issues and you do have an older iPhone, just check Apple's website for compatibility with iOS 26 and make sure that your device can actually run it. But that's how you update your iPhone to the latest iOS 26 release. Thanks for watching.